we have Chef Gabby and Chef Ashley today, and they are making... Sweet surprise. Sweet surprise mix. Okay, so what's your first ingredient? Chocolate chips. Okay. How much chocolate chips should a person use for this recipe? One-fourth of a cup. One-fourth of a cup. Okay, go ahead and show me one-fourth of a cup of chocolate chips. Very good measuring skills with the bows. What is the next ingredient, Ashley? It is peanut butter chips. How many? One fourth of a cup. One fourth of a cup. Nice and balanced recipe so far. When you add one fourth of a cup and one fourth of a cup, how much have you made so far? Two fourths of a cup. Which is? One Excellent. Oh, very delightful mix so far. What is your next um, ingredient, Gabby? Mini marshmallows. And how much should the chef use for these? One fourth of a cup. Another one fourth of a cup. Very even recipe. Mm -hmm. So there's an even mix of everything, so you don't have too much, too little. Great. Right. Okay. I just realized it's hard to make your own marshmallows. Marshmallows are a little bit more difficult, aren't they? Now we have Czech cereal. Czech cereal. Is there a certain type of Czech cereal that it should be? Um. So I know there's a lot of different kinds. Yeah. Just original. Okay. Yeah, I think we got corn checks today. Great. So I notice we're not mixing as we go. We wait till it's all finished yeah. to mix it up. Okay. And last is mini pretzels. And how many mini how many cups of mini pretzels should we have? One fourth. One fourth of a cup again. So how many cups do you have all together so far? Um we have one cup so far. Okay. So you only have one cup of ingredients though. I thought we were supposed to make two servings, which is one and one fourth cup. Do you have any other ingredients to add? No, we just made because we added another because we added the pretzels, that's one and one fourth cup. Oh, okay, gotcha. So now you can put it in your mixing bowl and show people how to get this properly mixed. Or you could use your gloved hand. Okay. And then you need to put it into portion bags. So you're going to need one portion for each of you, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and measure out our servings. If we have half of one cup, what should we use to measure half of one cup? The half cup. Okay, so go ahead and put a half cup in each bag. And then, Ashley, we're going to have to split that extra one-fourth of a cup, too. Well, we could use one-eighth of a cup. Okay, how do you know you could use one-eighth of a cup? Because one-eighth is half of a cup. Okay. Ashley? <laughs> So if she's taken out one half and one fourth, is it already split into two portions? Yeah. You have the other portion. So do you need to measure it out? No. No? You just go ahead and dump it in. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to tell our recipe viewers? That we should probably write the dates on the bag so that we know if we, our name that should be expired. Because mm, not all ingredients stay fresh, do they? Nope. All right. Excellent advice. Thank you, Chef Ashley, and thank you, Chef Gabby. That was the recipe for... Sweet Surprise.